Hey there, I'm Dave Roberts with Motu. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a hardware controller with BPM, our Beat Production Machine Virtual Instrument. BPM can run as a plugin or as a standalone application. Either way, BPM can accept real-time MIDI commands. Any device that generates MIDI notes and controller messages can be used to control BPM. You can program beats or perform live, all without having to touch a computer mouse or keyboard. In this demo, I'm going to use the Akai MPD32 pad controller. Together, BPM and the MPD32 give you a true beatbox experience. Setup is easy. The MPD32 connects to the computer via a USB cable. I'm running BPM in standalone mode, so I assign the MPD32 as the MIDI input device by going to the File menu and choosing Audio and MIDI Settings. Click the MIDI Devices tab. When running as a standalone application, BPM can receive MIDI on up to 64 separate MIDI channels via four separate input ports. I'll choose the MPD32 as the MIDI input device for port A. The audio and MIDI settings window also lets you set up audio output for BPM. Today I'm using my Motu Microbook to monitor a stereo output from BPM. The transport buttons on the MPD32 are set to generate MIDI controller messages. BPM responds to those commands. Play, stop, and record work without any further configuration. If you have a controller where you need to change the MIDI messages used for transport control, BPM responds to controller number 118 for play, controller number 117 for stop, and controller number 119 for record. Next, I want to set up the pads on the MPD32 so they trigger the correct pads in BPM. In the case of the MPD32, I simply load a configuration file into the hardware. The Akai MPD32 ships with a configuration application called Visex. I've installed Visex from the Akai CD. On the BPM installer CD, there's a configuration file for the MPD32. I double click on that file and it loads into Visex. Now I go to the data page and choose put current preset to MPD32. That saves the BPM preset into the Akai controller. Now the pads on the MPD32 match the pads in BPM. If your controller doesn't have a supplied BPM configuration file, setup is just as easy. BPM's on-screen pads respond to MIDI notes. You can map BPM's pads to whatever incoming notes you want. To reassign any pad, just right-click or Control-Alt-Click on the pad and you'll get a MIDI Learn window. Tap on the controller pad to assign it to the BPM pad. Repeat for each pad and you're ready to go. Now I'm ready for the final step in my setup process. I'm going to map BPM features that I consider essential for my own personal workflow. Here are the BPM preferences. If I click on the remote button, I get a list of programmable remote functions. I can then use the MIDI learn function to assign buttons on the MPD32 to functions inside BPM. I've created my own customized set of commands for the MPD32 you can set up the commands just the way you like to suit your workflow. BPM is a powerful music production tool. By setting up and customizing my hardware controller, BPM gives me the ultimate beatbox experience for studio programming and live performance. 